नमस्ते लेडीज एंड जेंटलमैन दिस इज अगेन पार्ट टू ऑफ द वेरी सॉन्ग ऑफ द कांतारा क्लाइमैक्स सी आई रियली डोंट नो वॉट रियली इज मेकिंग मी टॉक मोर अबाउट दिस सॉन्ग द रीजन इज वेरी सिंपल एज ए सेट इन माई प्रीवियस वीडियो इट इज मोर और लेस टॉकिंग अबाउट द शास्त्र फ्रॉम द वेरी व्यू पॉइंट ऑफ पंचभूत तत्व एंड इट इज मोर और लेस टॉकिंग अबाउट कवचम रक्षा कवचम संजात संभूत सारिव दैवद मन संप्रीत हियर देर आर वेरी इट्स अ वेरी ब्यूटिफुल कॉम्पोजिशन ऑफ द सॉन्ग इन अ वे which is more or less talking about the very human existence or the very earthly existence thanks again to the writer who has written this song one really needs to get to the core concept of the subject from the objective point of view if i really look at the choreography of that song i mean the dance choreography maybe that could be a part of their ritual that's okay that's uh, you know that forms a part of it i agree with that now the point over here is it's not as easy as it is told or as easy as it is like you know uh, explained in terms of sanskrit language and the writer of the song i can see that he certainly has that distinct vision he certainly has that you know power deep within daivada that is the reason why he is using daivada over here if i really look at sariva daivada sariva daivada over here means daivada means that devi or deva or shiva or vishnu or whatever it is that godly existence now the point over here is the kantara movie as a whole if i want to really look at from various angles the very first angle would be from the environmental uh, you know uh, uh, safeguarding it's like that area not to be cut that area needs to be taken care of which practically happened during covid between 2019 to 2021 that is one point which every individual needs to understand that was one part of the ecological uh, existence that rishabh sir has covered that is the beauty of this movie again and coming back to personal interest when i say personal interest over here is developing yourself as a individual persona it could be bhuta kolla that's that's fine that's a tradition and that tradition actually like implies a lot it gives a very deeper meaning for the very purpose of the human existence which one needs to understand 
over here there are two very important people who are acting upon one is that god who has been safeguarding this earth other is the facilitator in the sense one who has taken up that responsibility now if i go in the similar lines just like adi shankaracharya or madhvacharya or uh, ramanujacharya you take any one any realized souls or shri shri bharati teerthananda swami gal how they are safeguarding this dharma and adharma aspect in fact i could really feel that uh, when i saw that last 15 minutes uh, you know uh, song and i have been playing that song for quite a long time and trying to understand the gist of it when i was trying to go through and and when i was trying to understand that song predominantly rishabh sir has made, has made it a point that everyone will understand the scriptic language of dharma and adharma aspect in a much simpler way it could be documentary for the bhuta kolla that's a different aspect altogether but it's not about tullu nadu or it is not about uh, dakshina karnataka's yakshagana or it is not about karnataka's uh, you know rich heritage and culture showing that but he had shown one very good point rishabh sir has shown a very good point over here which more or less talks about it specifically those lyrics if i really look at those lyrics they are fantabulous lyrics i would say daiva varishtam he used daiva varishtam and here daiva varishtam over here means this is one of the primary deity in uh, as per vedas and upanishads if we really look at it and if i really look at uh, shiva sambhutam shiva sambhuta shiva sambhuta shiva itself is a creator who has created who is benefactor for uh, uh, creating destroying and reinstalling of whole of the panchabhutas that are existing in the multiverse understand this this is the beauty of this uh, song actually beauty of these lyrics from the song's perspective from the song's perspective or the objective and subjective understanding about the nature as a whole and very interestingly he is he has used bhuvi bhuvi samjata bhuvi means from the sense bhumi bhu devi again samjata sam plus jata samjata and very interestingly this jata if i really look at it refers to jata veda who is the jata veda and it really takes me to a very my uh, a favorite question kasmai devaya havisha vidhema this devaya who is this deva that we are giving havis now you, one might ask why am i inter relating this uh, uh, 
సంజాత టు జాతవేద కస్మై దేవాయ హవిష విధేమ సి ఇఫ్ ఐ రియలీ లుక్ ఎట్ దిస్ హోల్ లైన్ శివ సంభూత భువి సంజాత శివ ఎండ్ సంభూత హియర్ శివ ఈజ్ వన్ క్రియేటర్ హూ ఈజ్ యాక్చువల్లీ లైక్ టేకింగ్ కేర్ ఆఫ్ దిస్ పంచభూతాస్ దట్ ఆర్ ఎగ్జిస్టింగ్ ఇన్ ద యూనివర్స్ ఇన్ ఈక్వల్ ఇబ్రిమ్ స్టేట్ ఎండ్ at the same time he is he is telling shiva this this uh, universe in this multiverse wherein this panchabhutas that are existing have been existent they will be existing bhuvi bhumi related to bhudevi that is nothing but again prakriti relating to prakriti సంజాత సమజాత జాతవేద వేర్ ఇన్ హియర్ ఇట్ ఈస్ దేర్ ఆర్ టూ ఆస్పెక్ట్స్ టు దిస్ వర్డ్ జాత అగైన్ రిఫర్స్ టు జాతవేద హూ ఈస్ దట్ వేద జాత వన్ హూ ఈస్ ద సుప్రీం లా అండ్ అదర్ పార్ట్ ఈస్ జాతి దెర్ ఈస్ నో జాతి భేద ఓవర్ హియర్ సమ ఎవ్రీ వన్ ఆర్ సేమ్ ఆన్ దిస్ భూదేవి దే నీడ్ టు ఫాలో సారివ దైవద సారివ ఈజ్ వన్ ఫ్లవర్ విచ్ హీల్స్ ఎవ్రీథింగ్ యాజ్ పర్ ఆయుర్వేద సారివ దైవద హీఈస్ రిఫరింగ్ దైవద దిస్ దైవద దిస్ దే దైవ who is who has manifested himself on this earth is like that of a healing flower if you surrender towards him and if i really look at the choreography of that uh, uh, song it says it all this is the absolute beauty of the composition as well as how they choreograph thanks again to rishabh sir whole of the shastra as i was talking about para pashyanti madhyama vaikari ru vaikari rupa from the view point of ichha shakti gnana shakti kriya shakti it has been clearly explained ladies and gentlemen this is the practical beauty of it and this song is more or less talking about shabda brahman that very line if i really look at if i really look at it talks about mana sampreeta what is this sampreeta and why should he should have used about sampreeta over here and mana over here mana again is talking about that chitta చిత్తస్వరూప అండ్ యాజ్ ఐ సీ యాజ్ ఐ సా దట్ కోరియోగ్రఫీ యాజ్ ఐ వాజ్ వాచింగ్ దట్ హోల్ ఆఫ్ ద కాన్సెప్ట్ ఇట్ వాజ్ మోర్ ఆర్ లెస్ లైక్ దిస్ అండ్ హీ మేడ్ ఇట్ లైక్ దిస్ దిస్ బ్యూటిఫుల్ సో all in all if i really look at this song kantara's climax song and kantara's climax uh, you know that 15 minutes climax 
it is really a treatise to to the classical dancers one needs to understand how much depth this artist has specifically rishabh sir rishabh sir has taken the concept to the core understood the concept to the core ladies and gentlemen the point is today in the current generation none of us has that ability to understand the very concept of daiva or daivada aspect and he has used daiva varishtam again daiva varishtam see understand this varishtam again is one very complex word which has a deeper meaning in itself daiva varishtam over here means one who is very close to that daiva and one who has understood that to share one practical experience with you uh, this uh, whatever uh, 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 rishabh sir did with those sounds i could feel that some 10 years back when i was in sabarimalai and even now i feel those goosebumps i had that effect i can feel that you know even when i am explaining this song to uh, to the viewers my hairs are standing straight understand this the song is not as simple as it seems to be this song has a very deeper meaning ladies and gentlemen this is specifically for the classical musicians who really are into songs base and this is for the sanskrit professionals as well the kind of words this art this writer has used it's fantabulous they are so powerful that they touch your body those vibrations happen within you understand this ladies and gentlemen specifically this shiva sambhuta भुवि संजात दैव वरिष्ठ दैव वरिष्ठ एंड दिस वराह रूप सारिव दैव दीज लाइन आर सेलेक्टिव लाइन पवरफुल लाइन द मोस्ट पवरफुल लाइन दट वन कैन एवर फील if one hears or if one tries to understand the deeper meaning of these lines believe me he would understand the very core concept of shastra or that natya shastra aspect i don't know directly or indirectly this writer has touched upon those those key points or the key aspects thanks again to rishabh sir for this beautiful lines rendition it's not very easy to understand these lines ladies and gentlemen think about it this song has that depth think about it ladies and gentlemen 
stay blessed have blissful life may the guru's grace be with all have a nice day ahead